I've been saving this one for a while, but it's time to show you the prettiest meteorite in my entire collection. Let's take a look at the Imalac Palisite. The Imalac Palisite was found in Chile in 1822 in a very dry region of the Atacama Desert. It is about half iron and about half olivine. You can see the grayish iron metal here. On this stone, it is etched, so we see two different alloys of that metal, the camisite and tannite. And then you see the crystals themselves, which are essentially crystallized lava. They're called olivines. When they are of gemstone quality, we call them peridots. Palisites look this way because they are essentially formed where the core meets the mantle of a differentiated body. So you think the core is metal, iron, nickel, and the mantle is effectively magma or lava. And where these form a boundary, you get these palisites that are just so intensely beautiful and diverse looking. Oftentimes, these crystals can crack or start to weather and fall out of the metal. We're kind of fortunate in this case that this meteorite fell in the Atacama Desert because it's one of the most dry, nonpolar regions in the world. Therefore, the meteorite did not necessarily weather like it might have in other more humid climates. Well, this is a slice that has been cut and then polished to a mirror reflection on one side and then acid etched on the other side to show the different metal alloys. I also have a whole stone Imalac example I'll show you here so you can see the stark contrast between them. You can see it's, it's nice and dark from burning up through the atmosphere, but those crystals are still popping out. It's a really weird looking rock and I can't imagine what people thought when they first ran across this stone with these gems popping out of it and what the origin might have been. When I think of quintessential meteorites, the Imalac Palisite is absolutely one of those. It's super weird and funky, almost alien looking on the outside, but it is showing immense beauty on the inside, particularly once it's cleaned up and polished. By the way, did I mention that these olivines are translucent? We can see light through them. Absolutely stunning. I've got a lot of unique space treasures like this one to share. Make sure to follow along and we'll learn about them together.